So it is a Monday morning and as always I got the latest top news for you guys leading up to Monday Night Raw tonight. This is my weekly news roundup and preview for the show where we go over every single one of the Raw previews and discuss news relating to each and every single one of them. We do this every week so let's get started. What is being advertised for the show is the following. AJ Styles longtime friends Gallows and Anderson will make their Raw debut. They're gonna go against the Usos. The Chris Jericho vs Dean Ambrose storyline will continue and will we see how Dean Ambrose retaliates against Chris Jericho. Dove Ziggler and Baron Corbin will continue their feud and it is being asked if the old school would trump the new school meaning the Vault Villains versus Enzo and Cass whom will be facing off a payback. And the last preview is a shame man as a raw showrunner coming to an end. Alright so let's get right into the news when it comes to these raw preview and let's start off with the big one of course and that is will Shane McMahon and be actually running Raw this week. Different wrestling sites such as Pro Wrestling and WrestleStone are reporting that Shane McMahon will be at Raw tonight and he is most likely running the show for the fourth consecutive weeks. The latest reports are also stating that we will get a feud between The Authority versus Shane McMahon sometime this summer as early as tonight's Monday Night Raw. Now will it happen tonight on Monday Night Raw? I don't think it will but something could definitely be teased. And again the latest report when it comes to Shane McMahon versus is the authority is that the storyline itself is eminent and we're gonna see it develop in tv very soon and it's interesting to know the following which was stated by wwe.com in the preview and i quote we haven't seen a triple H and stephanie mcmahon on raw since wrestlemania nor have we gotten their thoughts on shane o'mac job performance would the authority arrive to put an end to shane's new era or would they continue deem him best for business at the helm of of Raw. Again, as I said last week, when something is teased, especially by WWE.com, it's usually because we're gonna get something on the lines related to that tease. The other biggest story heading into Monday Night Raw is obviously whether or not Finn Balor is actually gonna debut in the main roster. This is all speculation, of course, due to the Bullet Club, as we already have AJ Styles, Doc Gallows, and also Carl Anderson in the main roster. The latest on that situation is the following, and I even posted a video yesterday yesterday updating you guys on that actual situation but i'll summarize it for you guys following last night wwe nxc live event in new york finn balor said that he was staying in nxc for the time being balor austin harris and samoa joe for the wwe nxc world heavyweight championship was a triple threat match a main event for the night joe retained the title but afterward finn balor cut a promo stating that he is staying in nxc and he's not going anywhere this is obviously completely opposite of what he said at the live event prior to that one which i even posted another video based on that showing you guys the actual clip in which finn balor basically tells the fan that he will see them on monday so again he is definitely teasing the fan and he's definitely playing around with them how the guy is amazing he even posted the following picture on his instagram and look what it says he's basically telling us to always do what's opposite of what he says and i'll tell you this it is not confirmed that he'll be a role but it could be very likely and i I do see him making him main roster debut very soon. I do think that making his debut at Payback will actually be much more significant though. Moving on, Enzo and Big Cass are still set to feud with the Dudley Boys, so I would not be surprised if they actually cost them the match against the Bad Villains to be number one contender for the Tag Team Championship, but that will be a Payback, which by the way, I'll be having my prediction video very soon. And speaking about the Bad Villains, apparently the WWE is already souring on them, which in my opinion is very unfair because it's like they're not even giving them an actual chance as they were just brought up to the main roster and apparently they're not even in good terms anymore and for those of you that missed it Bray Wyatt is said to be out for four to six weeks which is not even that bad because obviously it could have been worse I got the latest update on Cesaro is that he is definitely getting a push as they are trying to renew his character so expect him to be spotlighted on Monday Night Raw obviously leading up to his match against The Miz at Payback and that is all I got for you guys today's leading up to monday night raw of course if you guys want to keep updated with all the latest top news or roundup leading up to raw smackdown pay-per-view especially payback this week i got you covered all throughout the week and also for wwe 2k17 news subscribe to my channel so you don't miss none of that by the way a payback prediction should be up tomorrow with a simulation match of the main event aj style versus roman reigns Thank you guys for watching. We on the road to 400 subscribers. Much to y'all. Take it.